Hi there, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Now, one of the questions I have received a lot is what is the ITCZ, also known as the Intertropical Convergence Zone? And the name itself basically breaks it down. It's a convergence zone of winds at the equator. Now, before we talk about the ITCZ, you do need to know what the global circulation weather patterns are. Of course, you have the easterlies, you have the westerlies, which are part of the mid-latitude cells, and then the polar cell. Now, the easterlies is what we really need to focus on. That's where you basically see our tropical systems. It is part of the Hadley cell. Now, where you do have these two Hadley cells in the northern and southern hemisphere, where you have those easterlies, they do end up converging typically around the equator, and that's where you get that line of convection that circulates around the globe. Now, it shifts towards the north, north during July, and then towards the south into January with the changing seasons. Now, out here in the Western Pacific, it typically shifts out towards Taiwan and basically across the Philippines as we go ahead through the months of June, July, and even over towards August. Within the ITCZ, we often see tropical systems form up as well. That's basically the main line of convection for developing storm systems in the Western Pacific. But the big thing is that you do have those converging winds down at the surface and that allows for that convection to bubble up. And if the ITCZ or eventually those tropical waves within it shift enough north, typically around five to 10 degrees, we could see tropical systems spin up on it due to the additional amount of Coriolis force. But the big point, it is that line of thunderstorms that circulate around the globe, typhoons can develop off of it. And it is an important feature in the Western Pacific to always monitor. Even if we don't have a tropical system, it can still bring those rain showers and thunderstorms with it as well. That's just a look at what is the ITCZ. I know a lot of you have asked those questions. If you have any other questions that you would like answered here in our westernpacificweather.com YouTube channel, please let me know. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Stay safe.